Here we are in Camp 6. And we're off with Ken Wardak and Aaron Tripp looking for lichens and any vascular plants we previously hadn't collected. Aaron is looking at a large tree here. Large trees are particularly useful for finding interesting patches of lichens. Let's see what she's found around the back side of this tree. Do you see anything interesting, Aaron? Well, here. Come have a look. There's this thing that you might not notice is a lichen, but if you look closely, you can see a little black outline going so. And you can see little green specks in the middle of it. The little green specks are the asexual reproductive structures of this particular species. And it's called Ceridia, and it disperses both the fungal and the algal partners in the lichen symbiosis. Are you interested in collecting this particular we specimen? We're going to collect it. It may Very or may good. not be identifiable, but we're going to collect it because we haven't sampled it yet. There's Erin's lichen collecting bag. She has a hammer and a chisel. Paper bags to put things in. We have chisels. We have clippers. Uh, here we have... There is mountain view here. We're in the middle of a recent tree gap. This tree fell over not so long ago. A few weeks or months. Patchy sky with blue spots. Here's a canopy. There's Erin chiseling away. She's grabbing her lichen. Let's see. There are little clumps of bark. It said lichen. Into a paper bag it goes. More chiseling. Every tree species is different. Some have bark that is very easy to sample. Cryptogams on, that is lichens and bright lights, mosses, the birds, and others such as this one. Let's scan up this tree. Do we know what it is? Uh, not really. Small leaves. Does not look fertile. Some epiphytes on it. This is a cyclanthaceae here with the twinned. You can see many cyclanthaceae here. They're terrestrial and then they can be also epiphytic. There's one that's climbing up. Pruning away on the lichen here. Trim it up later with some clippers and make it more presentable in a herbarium. We sample a lot of it so that we can distribute them to various museums across the world, starting with the Smithsonian and then, of course, a full set stays here in Guyana at the University of Guyana. And others will go to the New York Botanical Garden, which has a strong Lichen and Bryophyte Research Program, and to Missouri Botanical Garden, to Kew Gardens, and various others. The sun is coming out. Let's look around the forest a minute. Here we have Rapadiaceae. If we pull up the central leaf, it's mucilaginous there. Here we have some Amarantaceae here. Here we have a null stone. This is a tococa of some sort. 
the pouches at the base of the leaf here house ants let's turn it over see if there are any ants coming out there are indeed ants coming out so this is an inhabited tococa something is crawling down my shirt but find out what that is uh, these ants um, protect the plant let's see what else we got here spectacular sunshine at the moment it's rained most of the night 